Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Yavra here, our Sith Inquisitor, on the planet of Balmora. Where we last left off, we were helping Imperial interests here at the Gorinth Canyon and the Troida Military Workshop. But we are now looking into our own interests. We're looking into entering a research facility. A research facility that might give us a clue into how Colocoids are able to survive in a toxic waste environment. In fact, seemingly seem happy enough to eat it. This is unusual. We haven't seen these hive-like structures as of yet. And these must be the color cards. Seemingly their talons can bore into armor. Kelm, I don't want to see them anymore. Oh. How interesting. There's a lot more of them. <laughs> As the bonus mission called it, it is indeed an infestation. have to be wary of any potential ambushes. On the positive side, they are not force resistant. Let's just clear this place out in case they are rather sneaky and are capable of backstabbing us as we're doing our investigation. Sounds like there's more hiding within their nest, but for now. Terminal shows a log of work done on the colocoids and toxic waste. Progress on the experiment is not going without a hitch, but we seem to have overcome the initial obstacles. Recently, Team 5 reported that the subjects responded positively to the waste in the hazard vault. Our only remaining concern is that the casualty rate seems to have gone up. So far, we've lost two of our best scientists and three research assistants. At any rate, I've recorded a formula for the chemical compound that has thus far produced the best result. Hopefully, we'll be able to figure out the cause of the rise of the subject's ferocity and eliminate casualties going forward. The rest is a list and diagram of scientific formulae. Let's 
So, if nothing else... We may as well return with the information we have gathered. See if Major Bessinger or his aide, his captain, can make anything of the information we have retrieved. Major, if we don't get those supply vehicles... My men are working on it, sir, but until that shipment of plasteel I requested three months ago comes in... I don't care! Tear it off the walls if you have to! It's not wise to keep a Sith waiting. Don't worry about the Colonel. He's loud and impatient, but we all are these days. What with a supply shortage? Now, did you manage to find anything out of the lab? Captain Ilon and I have been doing our own research, but we haven't discovered much. There were bugs, bugs, and more bugs. I hope the colicoids didn't give you too much trouble. Have a look at this, Captain. I, I can't make head or tail of it. Hmm. This confirms our suspicions. The colicoids were being mutated to clean up the waste, and it looks like the chemical mutagen they were using could theoretically work. Well, that's it. That's our solution, right? We just replicate this chemical mutagen. Um, sir, there's a problem. Our chief scientist defected to the Republic a few months back. We can't begin to replicate, let alone test the serum without him. Have there been a lot of defections? Lately, yes. Of course, the defectors' bodies usually turn up a few weeks later in a ditch somewhere. Any idea? how they end up that way. That's... classified. We have intelligence that Janos Tirek, our chief scientist, is alive and on Balmora, in a Republic research base out near the Toxic Lakes. You find this scientist, you subdue him, my men will bring him back, and we'll get you your chance to swim in toxic waste. Consider it done. Oh, and Sith, hurry back. I just got word that my son passed his trials on Coravan, and is on his way to Balmora. I don't want you to miss him. How interesting. So, unfortunately, it seems we need the scientist who defected to the Republic? Despite them not meant to be on Mal Balmora. But we need him to synthesize this mutagen. You'll need to steal back our scientist from the Republic if you want to recreate the Colicoid's toxic waste resistance. I hope you find what you're after, my lord. So where is this Yanos located? Right, just beyond the Markaran Plains. Very well. Why don't we go try to retrieve him now? After all, the research lab wasn't very difficult to uh, gain entry to, and the colicoids didn't really pose much of a challenge.
travel route is confirmed. Let's head over to the Markaran outpost and then travel into the plains from there. There are a few people at this outpost who would like our attention, but we'll speak to them in a little while. I believe our missing scientist is working with the resistance forces just here. to deal with 10 of the resistance forces defending the camp. I should have known Bessica wouldn't let me go without a fight. But sending a Sith seems a bit like overkill. Are you here to kill me, or are you going to torture me first? Come peacefully, and no one gets hurt. I risk my life to defect to the Republic. You think you can scare me into returning? There are fates worse than death, and being an Imperial scientist is one of them. Watching as I make a necklace from your entrails is another. I won't go back to that place. You don't know what it's like. We're not expected to be men. We're machines, slaving day in and day out. No intellectual freedom, no creativity. I'm tired of building killing machines. I want to do some good for humanity. I can't go back there. We'll see how you feel after this. Ah! Damn Sith! Oh. You'll have to kill me. I'll never return to the Empire willingly. I know just when to stop. Sith, 
Major Bessica sent us in after you to collect the scientist. Tell the Major to get him started on the serum right away. Of course. We'll see you back at Sobrik. Excellent. Oh. And who is this? Sid, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sure you're very busy. Uh, congratulations, by the way. I heard that you found our scientist. We'll whip up that serum and get you into that toxic waste pit in no time. But there's a problem, and I need your help. I'd be happy to help any way I can. It's my son. He arrived shortly after you left for the research facility, but then he went after some holocron, he called it. A few minutes ago, I got what I think was a distress call from him. He's in trouble. He can handle himself. Look, I didn't want to have to do this, but it sounds like I have no choice. This is my son we're talking about, and if you want your serum, You'll save him. Have you forgotten who you're dealing with? I have pull in important circles. And my brother is a high-ranking Sith. You'll listen if you know what's good for you. All this time you've been running around, we've been fighting a war. I've been more than happy to help, but not at the expense of my son's life. Nobody gives me orders then you won't get your serum. We narrowed the origin of the distress call to an abandoned building near the Republic Crater outpost. I'm guessing the Republic's captured him, which means a lot of fighting to free him. Good luck. Hmm. The Major is becoming a liability. A shame he was being so useful earlier. It seems he is not going to cooperate unless we manage to go free his son. We would have thought with him being Sif, he might have been able to handle a few resistance members. It seems that is not the case. Unfortunately, if the Major is correct, his son is being held near or around Outpost Victory, which is one of the major bases of operation for the Resistance. Which, of course, complicates matters. What we'll do is get ourselves back here to the Markaran outpost. We'll take a break here. And when we come back, there are a few people who would like to have a word about how we can further improve the situation for the Empire and of course deal with the government in exile. Thank you all for joining me with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then though, take care. Bye bye now.